In today's demo, we will see how the Watson Curator solution is used to optimize and manage a collection of key content. The Content Curator, working with domain and data experts, uses filters to assess and define the collection. Content collected is curated and used in building the Watson Engagement Advisor corpus that is then used by the customer service representative in providing superior support. We begin with the content curator, John, who will define and then create a newly required collection. Once created, he then curates the data, building a corpus of targeted information. John has defined the scope of the collection required for the new support program. John, working with the data expert, reviews the All Data data map to understand the content available for use. They will need to reduce the volume of information in order to efficiently begin their assessment. Content volume is refined by applying filters, as defined by the collection details, for the products selected for the new customer support program. Having completed multiple refinement of the content, action is taken to provide this collection of content for curation. Having defined and populated the new collection, John selects this collection and begins working to curate the content included. Following the curation process, new content is in the incoming phase, ready to be curated. Content that requires additional input from subject matter experts is in the to be curated phase, while already curated content is in the curated phase. Information that is not relevant, useful for the collection, is placed in the excluded phase. As this is a new collection, John begins with the incoming phase. Having reviewed the content, John begins the tagging process by selecting related documents and then choosing to edit classification prior to editing topics. Here we see that the selected documents have been classified and topics defined. John has completed curation of the selected content and approves inclusion of this information. Having identified the set of documents needing expertise to curate, John moves them to the to be curated phase. John selects add task to initiate an expert review and curation. John documents the description for the task to be performed and provides instructions for the domain expert. Here we see the documents added to the to be curated phase with an icon denoting documents assigned to an expert for review. We now switch to the domain expert who will complete assessment of the documents as part of the to be curated phase. Paula opens her in basket and sees several tasks assigned for her review. Opening the review documents task Paula sees a set of documents which she will need to review and curate. Seeing similar document types, Paula opens them in the viewer to quickly assess their relevance and to determine if both documents are required for the collection. After review, Paula updates classification and topic information and approves for processing. The remaining document is not appropriate for the collection and will be excluded from the collection. We now return to the content curator who is about to begin an assessment on the completeness of the collection and how the team is managing the new content. John reviews the collection statistics and identifies white papers as an area where the collection needs more depth. He adds a task to track resolution of this exposure. John provides a description of the task and instructions detailing the additional information needed for the collection. John once again working with the data expert begins working to resolve the collection exposure. In order to identify the targeted data, they add filters targeting the specific area, white papers, identified by the collection statistics. They review the results of the filter and see a small set of word processing documents that should mitigate the current exposure in the collection. They then create a report that will document the assessment and filtering that has been completed in order to meet any audit compliance and or governance requirements. They take action on the identified documents automatically moving them into the collection as new incoming content. Switching back to work with the collection, John sees that the new content has been added to the collection and needs review. He opens the task to begin the curation for the new content. John has completed and approved curation of the new documents. John reviews the statistics and sees that his concern with the collection has been resolved. Having built the corpus for information required by IBM Watson Engagement Advisor, We'll move to the customer services rep. The CSR has received a call from one of the customers who has questions about the product. Using the Watson Engagement Advisor, Preston determines with very high confidence resolution to the problem. He selects the surrounding information icon to better review any additional information. 
Preston sees that resolution for this issue is clearly documented, he resolves the customer problem and is ready to take the next call. In this demo, we've seen how a team can use the curation process to optimize a collection of key content that is trusted, reliable, refined, and current. Thank you.